What's going on guys? Today we're jumping back into the tabletop stuff. We're going to be going over two smaller pelicans. I made a video a while back going over some of the pelicans that I like to take to the range and how I have them set up. You guys really enjoyed that, so hopefully you'll enjoy this kind of shorter video on my two smaller pelicans here. If you do enjoy the stuff that I am putting out, please feel free to leave a like, consider subscribing. Really helps me out. I think we're at like 3,000 something subscribers now, which is crazy. Really appreciate you guys. So today we're gonna to jump right in and talk about what's in my two smaller Pelicans. All right, so jumping in to this guy right here, the 1170. This is the one I used to keep my nods and my uh, laser in for a little bit, as you can see here, kinda scribbled on there. Now I am keeping primarily range tools in here. So I have assortments of Allen keys, uh, the nice little red Milwaukee kind of bit holder slash screwdriver thing. Some Loctite, blue Loctite, always good to have. A larger assortment of Allen keys because um, these ones are standard and these ones are metric, so you never know what you might run into. Uh, Boresight, little laser guy, just for quick kind of rough-ins at the range or at the house, whatever. Blue paint marker for witness marks, stuff like that. Black Sharpie, just in case you need to mark anything on your Ipsic style targets. And then this guy right here, this is the iFixit kit. It's geared more towards smartphones and stuff of that nature. The reason I like this, and I find it comes in really kind of handy at the range, is it has sort of a weirder selection of bits, as you can see there. You have some really small stuff, just in case you need to mess with anything really, really kind of weird or tiny. It also has a nice set of aluminum tweezers here. Really nice in case you get a splinter or anything or some just weird stuff. That's what this Fix-It kit is really for for me. Not so much the smartphone stuff like it was intended, but just weird kind of odds and ends you might run into at the range. That's everything I keep in the 1170, so we'll jump over to the 1150 and show you how I have that one set up. All right, so jumping into my other smaller Pelican, this is the 1150, like I said. This is my new Nods case for when I travel or I don't want to travel with my Nods on my helmet. So it holds my 15s actually very nicely just because this case is a little bit deeper than the 1170, which I used to have my 15s in, as you can see here. It is a skosh deeper, makes it a little bit easier so I don't have to have the 15s laid completely flat in the case to get it to fit. I can actually leave it kind of completely closed on itself and fit it in here pretty nicely and still have room for a box of CR123s, a sleeve for some AA replacements for the 15s, and then also a sleeve for the AAA replacements for my contacts down at the bottom. Super nice fit, everything fits in here pretty well. It doesn't hold a whole lot so keep that in mind if you are looking at this uh, i find this setup works really really well for me because i can have my nods batteries for everything that i might need on the side here and be good to go for quite a while um, with the case being so deep i can fit a good handful of double a's and triple a's here and then a 12 pack of cr123s usually will last me a pretty good long time so that is my new kind of set up for nods and my two little pelicans that I'll throw in my larger pelican that you guys saw in the last video. So these guys live in the big pelican and then it all goes as one kind of unit along with my other kind of mid-sized pelican that holds all the uh, pistol belt mags etc and the microbat systems candy pouches on the lid which you guys absolutely loved. I hope a ton of you guys started doing that. I think it's a super cool way to kind of organize your pelicans. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll probably put a card somewhere up top here so you guys can go watch that. But with all that being said, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.